Some technologies aren't natural bedfellows, for example wind farms and airports, because of the interference from wind power turbine blades. But we're here in Scotland speaking to Prestwick Airport, Valent and Scottish Power to see how they're working together to mitigate this issue. The problem is that existing turbine blades can cause interference on radar screens, causing clutter and confusion. Prestwick Airport is working with Avalent, a UK startup, to mitigate this here interference. We have the Hill clutter. The situation here at Presswick at the moment is uh, we, we recognised many, many years ago that we were going to have a, a significant problem with wind turbines in this area. There's a large number of potential developments in this part of the world that are going to have a radar objection from Presswick. The main issues that we get on the radar are from radar clutter, which is where the turbines appear on the radar, and also from the desensitisation effects of the turbines, which is where it can suppress the, the aircraft returns to the point where they, they disappear altogether. The problem with air traffic control radars and air defence radars and wind turbines is that the radar detects the wind turbine as if it were an aircraft. Most of these um, radars are only two-dimensional, so they cannot distinguish between a wind turbine there, an aeroplane there, and an aeroplane there. So what they say is it's, an, it's a target of interest. And this is because wind turbines have a radar cross-section equivalent to an aircraft, and they move at a speed. The tip of a turbine moves at a speed similar to an aircraft. So all the radar is doing is what it was designed to do, which is to detect moving targets. The problem is they're not really aircraft and air traffic controllers then effectively get confused too much and it's called clutter but they you get clutter on the screen so it distracts the controllers and then sometimes it's a very important part of airspace for the controllers bringing the aircraft into an air airport they cannot live with that distraction and they actually have to avoid it often by three to five nautical miles so it means the airspace if you let the turbines get built everywhere but effectively you sanitise, sterilise a large amount of airspace from air traffic control use. To date, the, the airports have not had a lot of confidence in systems that, uh, that, that were used to mitigate uh, wind turbines. The, uh, the Avalent Holographic Radar is a brand new system and, and it's very different. It's a three-dimensional real-time radar that really does help to clean up the air traffic control picture. Uh, with that, the confidence of the airports will, will increase and, and overall, I think that will enable airports to drop their objections to wind farms and to enable them to be built to help meet government objectives by the year 2020. Mitigation systems are important because wind farms have a potential interference effect on radars and that in turn can affect the, the safe operation at an airport. You know, therefore, where a wind farm falls within a safeguarding zone around an airport designed to protect the safe operations of an airport, you need to assess the impact and potentially uh, install a mitigation that minimises the effect of the interference. The, the power companies um, are, play a very important part in this project. Whilst we as the airport are going to own and operate the technology and own the safety case for the technology, ultimately it's the, the developers that are going to have to pay for this. The Avalent Holographic Radar is a brand new type of radar. Uh, as opposed to being a rotating radar that everyone is familiar with, this is a, a flat panel phased array radar. And the big difference is that it's looking at a target 100% of the time. Uh, rotating radars only see a target 1% of the time. That means we can characterize what that target is, and if we can characterize it, we recognize it, and therefore can, can take it away from a display. So a wind turbine can be recognized and removed from the air traffic control display very easily. So wind farms are here to stay, so any new radar system being installed today needs to consider um, performance in the environment of wind farms. So, so yes, the, the problem is there, but the technology is evolving and any new systems need to implement the new technology and the new solutions to overcome the potential impact of the wind farm interference.